Hello, I'm Travis Warren, Public Information Officer for the Reno Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to inform you of an incident that occurred in the city of Reno involving officers with the Reno Police Department. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to this case, so you have a better understanding of the events of that day based on what we know right now. This video is not intended to draw any conclusions on whether or not the involved officers act consistent with our policies or the law until all facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution, the images and information you are about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defending against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. My name is Tom Robinson, and I'm a Deputy Chief of the Reno Police Department. This critical incident briefing is about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on August 22, 2020. Anytime an officer shoots someone, it is our policy to have the shooting investigated by an outside agency in accordance with the Washoe County Officer-Involved Shooting Protocol. These investigations are complete and thorough they typically include interviews of those involved, collection and review of any available recordings, and detailed examination of evidence. The investigating agency will evaluate the facts and evidence and make a determination as to whether or not any criminal charges are appropriate. When these investigations are complete, they are submitted to the Washington County District Attorney's Office. The District Attorney's Office evaluates the case and also evaluates whether or not any criminal charges are appropriate. After their review, the Washoe County District Attorney's Office provides a public report with their findings. The video you're about to see was captured by the body-worn cameras of the Reno police officers that were involved. All the officers involved in this incident were equipped with the body-worn camera. Uniformed Reno police officers who have regular contact with the public are equipped with body-worn cameras which are generally affixed to the front of the officer's uniform. The cameras capture video 30 seconds before the officers actually activate the camera but they do not capture any audio. This feature is designed to record incidents when an officer does not have the time to activate the camera. The footage in some of these videos does not capture everything the officer saw or experienced, either due to the placement of the camera or because the camera was unintentionally obstructed. On August 22, 2020, at 10.45 in the evening, Reno police officers responded to the area of West Street and 2nd Street in downtown Reno after receiving two 911 calls regarding shots fired and an assault with a deadly weapon involving a suspect with a gun. Charles, 153, Charles, 351, Reno, 1063. 53 is a double unit. Charles 153 copy. It's going to be to 121 West Street, the Plaza Resort on West Street. Check for ADW 1032. Subject firing a weapon now inside the plaza and went into an elevator. 121 West Street. 153 Officers arrived within moments. Witnesses directed them to a nearby hotel and told them that the suspect had gone inside. Charles, 434, the area. Witness says suspect wearing red with a backpack. Charles, 434, copying suspect going which way? He said red with a backpack. Copy red right with a backpack. Charles, 112, witness says WMA wearing all red with a red top and black jeans. Should be on the next floor. We'll head in there next. White, he's black, Hispanic. He's white. He's white. He was shooting in the air right here. WMA he's wearing all red? He's, yeah, black, black jeans. Uh, it's, he's wearing like red. It's all red. Please. Uh. Let's go. Inside the hotel, another witness told the officers that the suspect, 
took the elevator to the ninth floor. Reno police officers boarded the elevator as well and took it to the ninth floor. Nine. I got hands. Start off with taser. And once it's compliant, then go hands. Okay. When the elevator door opened, the officers found the suspect standing directly in front of them. The involved officer observed a gun in the suspect's waist. The officers instructed him to show his hands, but the suspect did not cooperate and instead walked away. One of the officers quickly exited the elevator and grabbed the suspect from behind to prevent him from going any further. While that was going on, the suspect reached for the gun, pulling it from his waist. In response to this threat, the involved officer fired his gun, striking the suspect twice. The suspect dropped the gun and fell to the ground. Show me your hands. What do you mean? Show, me your, show, me show me your fucking hands now. Show me your fucking hands. Quick, no. Don't read them. Get on the fucking ground. Hands. Drop the gun. It's right here. That's on the show. Get him cuffed up. Show me your hands. What do you mean? Show me your fucking hands now. Show me your fucking hands. Show me your fucking hands. I did it. Man, it's right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Officers handcuffed the suspect and then checked his injuries. They monitored him until medics arrived. The suspect was transported to the hospital for treatment and is listed in stable condition. None of the hotel guests or officers were injured. The suspect was later identified as a 20-year-old California resident. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office is the lead investigating agency in this case. The gun that the suspect was in possession of was a loaded Glock 40 caliber pistol. The suspect was charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of discharging a firearm in public. In the coming months, the Reno Police Department Office of Internal Affairs will review all relevant information from this case and will make a determination as to whether the officer's tactics, drawing and use of a deadly weapon, and use of force is within the policies and standardized procedures of the Reno Police Department. Those findings will be submitted to the Chief of Police for review. In accordance with the Reno Police Department policy, this body-worn camera footage has been made available as a summary of events to keep our community informed. Any additional camera footage will be available at the conclusion of the formal investigation. The Reno Police Department and its officers take incidents such as these very seriously and are treated accordingly. For questions or additional information regarding the Reno Police Department or our policies, please visit www.renopd.com. Thank you.